And you have Mike Dowd here, a legendary figure, America's most corrupt cop, although I don't buy that. They I don't say, believe that. They say it. I don't believe that. They say it. I want to give it sells. you... I'm going to tell you the truth. It sells right, newspapers. Wait, what was the, the best experience d during the, this time of your life? Hmm. No one's ever asked me. No doing one's, cocaine? No one's ever asked me that question. <laughs> <laughs> doing Jesus. cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was the beginning of the down. Listen, for the for real, that was the beginning of my downfall, right? Okay, so so let's make that clear. But you know, because there's no no, we're we're having fun, we're we're laughing, and we're, uh, but but we're not. I don't want to glorify. Look in the uh, eyes, Bello, when you. Yeah, that's right. There's, there's, the eyes. there's nothing. Yeah, to, the eyes never lie, Chico. Look in the eyes. There's nothing to glorify. Yeah. There's nothing to glorify. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing, to, in the there's eyes. nothing to glorify, really there's nothing yeah. to glorify yeah. about the, the times. But I'd say one of the most. So actually, this one of the best times that I had uh, was in the movie. They mentioned it in the Seven Five documentary where we talked about we hit a house. We didn't hit the house. Someone did a burglary. Unlike Sunny Beach's uh, situation, this thing was loaded with cash. So uh, listen, I have to be honest with you. If, if anybody doesn't have a little bit of law sitting in their blood, they'd probably be lying to you, right? So now I got an unclaimed bag of cash in a house, and I got a bunch of cops around. Uh, a couple times, but but the, the, but the one particular time that was exciting to talk about and, and, and you know thrilling, and I talked about it in the documentary. If you haven't seen the documentary, that's fine. The seven five, but I'll tell you about it here. So a burglary at the house. We show up, we roll in, and there's there's a couple of young black girls, little little ones, like young ones, 15, 16 years old, sitting that's in the house. Right there. In, oh, they were cuties, but they, <laughs> but they were young. They were, they were off limits in that respect. So they really weren't weren't looking to arrest them. But they admit that they broke into the house. Bill Clinton wouldn't say the wrong thing. Yeah, well, that's that's his fault. <laughs> Sorry, so, Bill. I actually like Bill. So they I, admit, said it, you know? they I admit, actually like Bill. They admit to breaking into this apartment. So immediately I, I scan the apartment and I see boxes of shoes. And anybody knows in, the, in, the, in this world of ours, anybody who has an expensive array of shoes generally has a lot of extra cash, okay? Oh. Especially in the 80s, okay? That was a clear indication that there was a lot of cash spent by the homeowner. Because their furniture might be shit, because they basically don't live there, they come and they go, but the but shoes, shoes count, right, okay? Yeah. So sure enough, I do a little quick search, and, I, and, I, and, and, and to my left is a cop already. Danny, you know who you are. He's in the he, pow, pow, pow. He's detective and everything. He's in the he's he's in the he's in the closet. He opens up and there's this bag full of cash. And I look at him. I go, Danny, what are you gonna do? Voucher this bag of cash and count it all fucking day. I said, what? Make you make two hundred dollars in overtime. Take the pinch. Leave the cash. And and and, and the whole, the homeowner's in jail. The homeowner got arrested last night. So these girls are told by the homeowner. Yep. Go to my apartment, hang out. Basically, she's te they're telling them to watch the, watch the place, the yeah. but they don't know that they're there to watch the place, so they break yeah. in. Now, they've admitted they broke in. We don't know that they got permission, so they got to get pinched. These little girls get pinched. They get uh, the, the little desk appearance tickets, whatever they're going to get. The cop gets his overtime, and now I go into the closet, <laughs> and there's six, there's, first of all, there's six cops in the place, but they're leaving with the perpetrators, right? They're leaving with the perps, so I go inside, and I pick up the cash, and who's... Who walks in behind me but Danny Power? <laughs> he looks at me. I go, what are you? I go, oh, I, oh, dead dirty. Yeah, it's no good. <laughs> I'm throwing the money. That's bad. <laughs> bad cash. I put it back in the bag. I close the bag up. Yeah, it's definitely cash in there. I know this story. Yeah, we got to leave it there. We got to leave it there. So he goes, okay. And he's looking at me. And he's like, he's afraid to leave, I think. But he turns around and leaves. So now I stuff about four or five grand. I had to get something. So I'm not leaving with nothing. So I stuff, right? I'm stuffing. And I go, okay. I go walking out to the patrol car. Now I can't fucking rest. You I gotta go rest. back and get it. I can't rest. So it. I'm working with an internal. I'm working with a female police officer who is internal affairs. She works for internal affairs, and she was bounced from the 114 precinct, and they assigned her to work with me. Okay, <laughs> so I know I'm being set up, but this isn't a setup because they don't generally break into houses generally, but they will. They don't generally break into houses, and they don't use 15 year old girls to do it. Okay, so these girls are getting pinched. They use a 30 year old, a 20 year old, you know, a human of, yeah, of age, right? Adults, so, yeah. so it's not a setup. I know it's not. So, and plus they got arrested last night. So, so many things fell in place that it wasn't a setup. So now I got to get this bag of cash. How do I get it? I call up my boys, guys. There's a bag of cash, four, 498, uh, uh, Hegeman, uh, second floor, apartment, make a left and a right, and I ain't got a car. What do you mean you ain't got a car? You live on Long Island. You gotta, gotta, you gotta have a car. It's in the shop. This is Chicky. It's in the shop. Chicky, it's in the shop. 
Go rent the fucking car, Chicky. Go buy a car. Go lease a car. Go get a car, Chicky. I got a bag of cash in an apartment building in East New York. It's got my name on it. I, mean, I, I can't walk out with it. I got an internal affairs sitting next to me. Am I going to know? If I walk out with it, I got to voucher it. I ain't vouchering this cash. So all of a sudden, we're circling the block about an hour. <laughs> circling the block. Like this way, that way. This, but I keep passing that house every three minutes. I'm passing the house. Make sure no one's walking out with nothing. Chicky shows up with Brian. Spencer. <laughs> Spencer's already out in three quarters disability pension that I got that I got him right so he's retired and Chicky's been suspended whatever he's fired anyway so these guys are fired and, and three quarters and they got this they're dressed like us jackets the, the bitch hanging out and they walk in the place and I see them go in but I don't say nothing I keep driving they don't, they don't, she doesn't know them because she she never met them she just got transferred from the 114 she, otherwise these guys were famous like me they right. would they would have right. they would have been recognized immediately so I circle the block circle the block come back all of a sudden, they're getting in the car, and they're pulling away. So I pull up behind them. I go, oh, jeez, you won't believe this. I tell the female cop, I said, ah, a couple of friends of mine used to work on a job here. I, pull, I said, I'll be right back. I go, oh, what? I go, how do we do? He goes, we got a bag full of cash. We're going to Atlantic City, motherfucker. I said, all right. <laughs> I turn around. Now, back then, this is funny. Before they had car phones, we had car phones. We would drive up to the, you ever see a patrol car? They drive up on the sidewalk to the pay phone. Yeah, yeah. And you reach out, and that was his call yeah, phone, yeah, right? Yeah. And you get a free phone call. Call the priest. He told the desk, Lieutenant Thurstino, Lieutenant, listen, my wife called up. She's sick. I got to get home with the kids. No problem. Bingo. You got lost time. So it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm taking lost time. I go back to the precinct. I get undressed. The girl's like, what's I said, tour's over. I got to go. My wife needs help. I get in the car. I drive over to the other side of Brooklyn, Sheep said Bay, where Brian lives. Get in the car. We order a limousine. We head to Atlantic City in a limousine, counting the cash, and... Buying all new, uh, new thuds. And I can't believe you can see that. You can see that just like that? Yeah. And now he can. He did 15, oh, yeah. did 15 <laughs> years in jail. I did yeah. fucking, I did fucking, I can face life in prison for this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I want a bag of cash. We fucking did this. <laughs> but, but listen, it was only about $45,000. It wasn't oh, yeah. that. It was only $45,000. It. Yeah, it was, it was, it was listen, back then, in the 80s, $45,000. Like 200, 200 It's like 200 today, exactly. Yeah. So it, was, so, so it was a nice little score, to say the least. So that was fun. It was exciting. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out and like this video. Then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons so you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.